And live on a weird date, because it is not Saturday at 2 p.m., it is Tuesday. <laughs> so, I am live for what reason, you may ask. Because I wanted to talk more in detail about the weather here. Because I didn't talk much in detail. And I want to really get the um, word out to say for the next... I want to talk about the weather about out to on Thursday. So, we're going to take a look at the temperature and discuss this further. So, right now you can see it's 46 degrees. It just changed from 46.2 down to 46. And my weather station constantly updates, as you can see, by leaving it up here for a few seconds. You can see how it constantly updates to the information. The wind and the temperature and what have you. So, tonight the temperature will go down to... Probably 30, about 34 degrees. Tomorrow, 33 degrees. The high tomorrow, 50. The low, 32-ish, 33. Sunny. Thursday, some rain. I do want to discuss Thursday a lot. The high will be 50. The low will be probably 40-ish. I do want to discuss that a lot. So, we're going to talk about the freeze warning. This is what I really wanted to talk about first right now. The freeze warning is in effect from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. Wednesday. Wednesday is tomorrow, so that's going to be temp that a freeze warning means for a freezing temperature. So 32 degrees is freezing. 32 degrees is when water freezes. So around 32, around the 30s ish would be considered that. So that'll be into t that'll be t late tonight into early Wednesday morning. Sensitive outdoor crops and vegetations which are not protected will be killed. So if you have any plants, they do go indoors. <laughs> then you protect them by putting them indoors from the elements. So, um, there will be some rain Thursday. So Thursday, there could be some possible, there could be some possibility of, well, probably going to get main, mainly rain in this area Thursday in the morning hours. But it will be hovering around upper 30. So it could be possible that we get a rain and snow mix in Rockland County in this part of New York State. New York City is expected just to get all rain. We could get some rain and snow mix up in Orange County, Rockland, Westchester, up a little farther north in the city, just a little farther north. It could be possible rain and snow mix Thursday. If it were cold enough to be snow, it would change over to rain anyway. So it wouldn't matter. So... Just don't worry about Thursday. It's mainly rain. It could be a little bit of rain, snow mix. But if you're higher, if you're nor more north, you know, it could be uh, snow most of the time. So, this is what's causing all the chilly weather. As we know, dips in the jet stream equal colder air. Ridges in the jet stream equal hotter, warmer air. As we know. So that will bring colder than average temperatures. And it's been like this for the last couple days. It's been quite chilly. A little chillier than it should be, maybe. So this is Wednesday night. So Wednesday night. So we're going to have some snow in parts of the state. Some rain-snow mix. Some rain. Some icy conditions in some parts. So this is... this When you're talking about the winter. The winter is the trickiest time to forecast uh, it, to me. Because of the um, rain, the snow, the mix, the, the icy conditions and all that. It's kind of tricky because of icy weather and rain-snow mix. There has to be like certain temperatures in different parts of the atmosphere to get this and that. It's quite complicated. So sometimes it's tricky to forecast in the winter because of the ice and everything. So, so Wednesday night, precipitation develops from west to east across the Ohio Valley, Pennsylvania, and western and central New York. A brief period of snow or a rain-snow mix is possible before changing over to rain in most areas. However, snow or rain-snow mix remains possible from north-central Pennsylvania um, into western and central New York through the pre-dawn hours. So Thursday... As we see here, Thursday, the storm moves a little, the precipitation moves a little farther, you know, east. So then we got this area. So it depends on where you are, because I know most of you are, pro of course, from Rockland County, so it'll probably be mainly rain, most likely. Could be a little rain-snow mix in the beginning, but 
mainly rain. Um, also, the freeze warning. So we're gonna, it'll be our first freeze um, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning will be our first freeze of the year, which is exciting. Soon we're going to have our first snowfall, I'm sure, soon. So, Thursday, precipitation spreads eastward into, into New Jersey, eastern New York, and much of New England. Snow or rain-snow mix may continue for a few hours in central New York and north-central Pennsylvania while the precipitation begins as snow or rain, rain or rain-snow mix in Poconos, Catskills, Hudson Valley. Oh, look, Hudson Valley. Beautiful. So, yeah, so it says snow or rain-snow mix continues. Oh, here, while it begins as snow, yeah, see, it could begin as snow or rain or rain-snow mix or snow in these areas. So, and we're included in this Hudson Valley. I'm sure you know where that is because you live here. <laughs> in the lower part though. And higher elevations of western New England. So, um, if you, you know, higher up, higher elevations are probably going to get rain snow in the beginning around here. So maybe we're talking like Bear Mountain, up, up, higher up. They could be dealing with the rain and snow mix more up there and then changing over to rain so we'll have to see what goes on and of course i have instagram billy the weather guy and if you want you can dm me your photos so it's always an option to dm me your photos because i love to see what's going on in the area because that's what weather is we need to connect the media we need to connect the photo and the video taking to the weather aspect because you see the weather and it's cool that it's cool for me, I, for me to be able to see the weather conditions. So you can, you know, take a video or a photo and you can DM me and then I could see it. The weather conditions in Poughkeepsie or, or Albany you were at or you were in Syracuse, you know. So here's the, um, third, the snow amount. You can see the snow is pretty close to home. Not, in tech, not in here just yet. But if you drive to this area, you know, near Poughkeepsie, you can see how there's some snow near that area, a couple inches near Poughkeepsie. So Albany, just go to a little bit west of Albany and up and higher up in the mountains you'll see quite a bit of snow. Up to eight inches possible of snow if you live up, you know, in the mountains, high up there. But for folks a little bit lower, you might just see an inch or even less. So it depends on where you live. So freeze warnings are up. And frost advisory. So this is our first freeze of the year. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Soon we'll be dealing with snow. I know. Um. <coughs> so there you go. 45.9 degrees now. Let's just round that to 46. <laughs> so. Of course the weather station's always round. So if it's, if it's really 45.6, they're not going to say that. They're just going to say 46. It's no big deal. Um, you can see it constantly updating right there. So I want to go into one more news story, and this time this, shouldn't, this, should, be, this, should, this should be fine. This should be fun. So this is a video from CNN, and CNN's not very good with politics, but in other areas they might actually be a little bit, a lot better. So, I don't think not so much. I, that's what I think. You can look up that yourself on Google. Yeah, so this is what's causing These apparently... These types of hexagonal yeah. shapes over the ocean are, in essence, air bombs. They're formed by what are called microbursts, and they're blasts of air that come down out of the bottom of the cloud and then hit the ocean and then create waves that can sometimes be massive in size as they start to interact with each other. was a video from CNN. Yeah, CNN regarding politics. Not a very good choice. But other than that, they're a lot better. 
I actually don't really watch CNN much, but sometimes I'll check them out. So that was a good video about what researchers have, have found about um, the Bermuda Triangle, which kind of opens up, you know, more information, uh, I guess, I don't know. I guess the better to be said is that it, it kind of allows, there's more um, information about the Bermuda Triangle and how these clouds and they cause all the, they cause all the bad weather. So these clouds, um, these strong winds and down, these downdrafts are just kind of causing all the waves to be crazy. And you saw in the video describing what the researchers have seen, been seeing. So it's good that we're seeing some more information about the Bermuda Triangle. There has been a lot of mystery surrounding it. So that might give some more light to what's going on there. So that's kind of cool. I saw that a few, like a day ago or so. So I think it's pretty cool. But, um, before I go, yeah, it's pretty short, the live stream. Ten minutes, I think it says about. So that's good. I just don't want to keep it any longer. So I'm just going to end it really soon. Because I remember some of them are really long. Um, just give me two seconds. So I just want to show you that. I'm not going to really show you it, but I'm just going to show This is what's trending right now on YouTube. And I want to show you that this video right here by this guy, um, Project Veritas. I think you should check out this video. It is about, you can read it for yourself. This guy went undercover about um, politics and Hillary Clinton's campaign and whatnot. So you, he made, this is part three of the video. I've seen part one and two. So I think you should check that out if you want to know information about that. The guy went undercover about Clinton's campaign. So just see the video for yourself. I'm not stating any opinion right here, so don't go crazy. That's just a video that you can go find. Then you can make your own opinion about it yourself. So go watch that if you want to know some information about that. And then make form your own opinion about if you think it's all fake or whatever. What happened. So this is Billy the Weather Guy. Ending the live stream, and next one is Saturday at 2 p.m. unless otherwise, you know. Bye.